Alright, welcome to another episode of The Hood Cook. This is episode 7. Today, we're actually not doing a meal. I'm going to give you a rundown of the kitchen. Stuff you should have in the kitchen. Stuff, if you do have, what you could do with it. We're going to go over some spices, some liquids, uh, some pots and pans. You know, little stuff you can have. Um, to still make your, you know, whatever you use. You're still going to make a delicious meal. But these are going to give you a little more ideas what to have, what to use. Um, again, I want to thank everyone out there that's watching. I uh, appreciate it. I got some good feedback, um, but I can always use some more. I uh, take any type of criticism, good, bad, or ugly, don't matter because I'm all of them, so it don't matter to me. So go ahead if you need to, give me an email at uh, hoodcook602 at gmail.com. All right, you can see I got my spice rack of fun. Uh, when I moved in here, I was very happy to find this. Um, with any meal you make, you're going to need what I call the pog. It's going to be pepper, onion, and garlic. Those three spices will make any meal good. Everything else is just extra. As you can see, I got I use a lot of garlic, so I use a big old tub of it. As you can see, I'm running out, which I'm pretty depressed about. Same thing with pepper. I use a lot of pepper. I got it right there, and I got my onion. It ain't in the alphabetic order, but fuck, I don't give a shit. All right. Also, I got a couple chili powders. I use two chili powders, depending on what you your taste. I got my New Mexico um, chili powder that I use. It got um, a sweet and a slow heat. It, it catches you. If you use too much, you'll catch that good heat. Um, the other one I have is my chili. I'm not telling you because this is my secret. Um, but that's what I feel you should do. You should always have that one secret. Um, mine is this one right here. I won't tell you what it is. But I do use two chili powders. Um, this one's a little more spicy. It got a little good, you know, not that full gusto on there, but it, it'll catch you by the balls. Um, <clears throat> What's also you good to have, <clears throat> I, as you know, I learned how to speak somewhere, um, call it the pollo, it's all chicken bouillon. Um, add this to beef stew, it comes out good. Everybody looks at me funny when I say that. Trust me, if you add it, pff, it comes out bomb. I don't know what anyone else is talking about, but it comes out bomb. Um, I also got, get out of my way before I smack you. I got some uh, red chili flakes, nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, you get them at the store, they're like 99 cents for a bag, which... This one's lasted me quite a while, um, but uh, like I said, you can go any store, get it. Uh, any brand, really, it's, people say, well, get this one, get that one. Spices are pretty much the same. Um, if you're lucky like I am, I have a wonderful uh, mother that has a nice little garden, and I got them fresh. These burn. Burn real bad. So um, be careful if you've got a garden, because uh, it will burn you. Uh, another good one to have is... Um, Lemon pepper seasoning, uh, the people use it for chicken, you don't always have to use it for chicken. Don't, don't let people tell you that's what it's for. It ain't, trust me. <clears throat> it's a good one to have. Um, an allspice, I came across this when I was doing a, a jerk chicken, uh, and it called for an allspice. Uh, I didn't know what it was, so I grabbed it. Like any spice, if you grab it, don't know what it is, taste it and see what you think. Um, mix it in with the pork, I believe, uh, a couple weeks ago. came out really good. It got like a like a grit, take not a grit, it's more like an earth spice. It's really good, I like this one. Uh, of course, you gotta have cinnamon. Cinnamon's good no matter what. It's um, like almost, you could sweeten and spice something up at the same time, it's weird. I don't, that's just the way I do it. Uh, and also, uh, got your, gotta get yourself some ground cumin. Cumin, that has a good, that's good with beef. Beef and pork, comes like, I tried it on chicken. Uh, I think I used too much. But this shit will fucking bomb telling you but what I do recommend the most grab yourself a spice rack because they got a bunch of shit on here I never heard of like a, got a savory never heard of it uh, I've heard of dill weed so I use that every now and again but I've never used ginger now since I got this I've been using it in certain stuff and pff, telling you it goes good with dry rubs try it with dry rubs comes out good like I said rosemary I've heard of but I've never used it since I've gotten this use it more Grab your spice rack and, and taste what, what it is. That's what you're doing. Taste it, and that's pretty much what it's going to be. It's going to enhance your meal. Like my wife, she likes to, um, I made this for her. Uh, it's a bunch of these spices put together. She um, loves salads, but with the ranch dressing, she doesn't want to put too much ranch. So uh, I make her an oil and vinegar, which I did over here. A uh, nice little oil and vinegar, and she puts that on it. And it came out great. I have like 12 spices in here. So I put, that's my allspice. So um, go ahead, just give it a shot, test it, taste it. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, hey, shit, it was like, you know, each one of these is probably about a buck, maybe less, so you're good. 
Uh, another good spice to have is curry. I use curry on, I don't even know, pretty much everything I can. Um, you smell it, it kind of got that, it tantalizes the nostrils is the only way I can really say it. But um, if you use a lot of it, it'll give you a spice. If you use just enough, it'll give you that, what is that? It's really good. I, I enjoy it quite a bit. Uh, right here, I got some ground oregano. Uh, salt, of course. I don't use a lot of salt, but um, it's good for that one thing. What's missing might be a little bit of salt. I, like you've seen me before, I just throw a pinch or two, nothing much. Uh, ground sage, that's also a good one to have. Because, like I said, if you want that earth taste, use uh, ground sage. People are like, well, what's the earth taste? You can kind of say dirt, but it's not. If you rub it with the right um, mixture of spices, it, it enhances it and it gives you that, what is that taste? It comes out really good. And this right here, this is really my, for my wife. She's, she's learning to cook. She's learning how to do the business, but um, she's always nervous about putting um, the, the pog in. She doesn't know how much. Um, so I pretty much made her make sure this one's for uh, chicken, I believe. Yeah, I got a C right here. And I tell her just sprinkle it on there, go ahead, bake the chicken, uh, boil it, do whatever you want. And she, pretty, she she loves this one. I actually got to make another one before she flips out. And also, seasoning salt. That's the one right there. Lowry's. I love that shit. Bomb. But you don't have to get Lowry's. It's, like I said, dollar store, pff, telling you, best place to get spices if you're on a budget. If you got that high roller, you know, a uh, big old wad of cash, pff, go to AJ's or some shit like that. Get what you want. But if you're tight on a budget, go ahead, hit yourself with a dollar store, and you'll be good. All right, after you did your, you know, I need to give you a rundown of the spices. Now, liquids. Liquids basically is, it's either gravy, a sauce. Pretty much with all this, you can make gravy or sauce. Um, I recommend having flour or cornstarch around because if uh, you want to thicken something up, throw a couple sprinkles. Don't go crazy. You put too much, you got to add more, and you end up I fucked up plenty of meals doing that shit. So just start off with a couple sprinkles, just toss it in, mix it up. Uh, if you're going to use cornstarch, be sure to um, throw it in with cold water and mix it up. Because if you throw it straight into a hot pan, it's just going to clump up. I've done it one too many times. Um, I got a lot of vinegars. Um, I got me a, a red, uh, red wine vinegar right here. Uh, it's really good. I use that for um, chicken and beef mainly, sometimes pork. But um, it depends how I'm cooking it, really. So depending on how you're going to cook, you'll know which ones to use. Um, I got a, a rice vinegar that I use. Usually I use this when I'm doing like a stir fry. Um, no, I'm not being racist, you know, rice, you know, chinos and all that shit. I just, you know, I like to use it because it's mild and smooth. You don't want that full hard taste because you're going to add your spices for that. Um, I got a balsamic vinegar. Um, I usually use that with um, some beef or uh, like I said, I'll make, I made that for my wife. It's um, like a vinaigrette almost. Really good. Um, a white vinegar, marinades, I'm telling you, comes out great. I also got me a good old apple cider vinegar. I'm in the barbecue sauce business. I make a lot of barbecue sauce, one of my ingredients. How much? You'll never know. Um, hot sauces. Uh, I don't use it a lot, but sometimes I want to just do a mild kick for um, is that my roommate, my wife, no, they happen to be honkies, I mean um, white people, I mean Caucasians. Anyways, um, I don't want it too hot for them because they get heartburn, chorros, and it burns and all that shit. So I usually have a red devil, I got a bunch more up there. Um, and if I want to spice that up a little bit more, I use tapatio. Believe it or not, spices it up pretty good, I'm telling you, you get your nipples hard with that shit. Um, I use sherry when I'm trying to get fancy pants with chicken. So I'll make a little light sauce with that, let it kind of cook up in it. I got this as a hand-me-down from a good guy, a good man that I've known uh, for many years. So I appreciate him for handing me that down. Um, you always want some lemon or lime juice. I prefer lime juice because it stays a little longer. Lemon juice, it will begin to taste like shit. You'll get clumps and fucking it's all fucked up. But this for um, a good tang or if you don't want to use salt. You go ahead and use that because it gives you a little... That, that, that tang of salt that you want. Um, also good with marinade, that's what I like to use. Um, vanilla, my wife doesn't know why I have vanilla. I believe it or not, throw it in quite a few meals and she has no idea but she can't find the taste. She tries to pull it out of me and it takes her about two days, three days to figure out what it was. Um, it's really good. Uh, people say, you know, 
It's only mainly for baking. Fuck that. Throw it in the meal. The only thing is, use it in very, very, very little bits. You know, put your toe in first. Don't just jump right in. Don't be me. I did that before and messed up a meal or two, but that's all right. And also, as you can see, I'm like Maxwell House. I'm good to last drop. I got me some uh, grandma's molasses, as you can tell. Uh, that is good for um, if you want to do a wet rub on a roast. Um, I like to do that and then throw my dry rub on there because it just soaks right in and the spices go. <laughs> telling you, get your nipples fucking rock hard. But those are some of the main liquids that I do use. Um, I have, uh, like that water is one of them, of course. Uh, the other liquid that I probably use would be butter, but I, of course I melt that down into a liquid. But yeah, pretty much put these together and I'm telling you, taste every single one, figure it out, figure out your taste. I'm telling you, the sky's the limit. You've heard it many times, I'm telling you again. All right, now I got you on the utensil area. Um, got a couple of pans I'm gonna show you. Uh, I got a decently, you know, a deep pan, probably about two inches deep or so. Um, you want one of these for like rice and uh, like you could, uh, do some chicken, potatoes and stuff like that to cover it up. Comes out real good. Um, I always want a small pan. Small pans are good for like omelets and a, a quick meal for yourself. Better than dirty in a big old giant pan. Um, quick, quick, easy. Dice it up, toss it in, do it all good. Um, stock pot. Everybody got to have a pot. I don't care who you are, legal or not. You got to have some. You know what I'm saying? I got about four or five of them. That's how I roll. Good for straining, boiling chicken, potatoes, you name it. Boil it. It's what I make chicken soup in. Um, what I've been loving recently is this right here. It's a roasting pan. Um, cheap. You can grab them at Walmart. Sponsor. Uh, for pretty dirt cheap, not too bad. Um, Got yourself a deeper uh, pan. I like these for stir fries. Comes out um, because you're able to go around more of that, and sometimes uh, you get inventive in the kitchen, and uh, you want to throw in a little more of this. Uh, you want to add a potato. You want to add a, a little bit more meat. Uh, in a pan like um, the first one I showed you, you're not going to be able to do that because it's filling up and filling up. This one you got able to spread more, go all the way around, and of course. I don't know how I came about this, but I think the person that gave it to me, big old giant pan. Uh, good for pancakes. I use these for pancakes, and sometimes uh, if I got some pork steaks that I want to cook up real quick, throw them in there, throw a little sauce, it comes out great, let me tell you that. Um, utensils wise, um, I got a plethora of everything, and pretty much just uh, stuff I accumulated. I got spoons. Um, you can get straining spoons, you can and can't. Uh, whisk, yeah, you're going to want a uh, pair of tongs. Uh, these are pretty good because if you're ever kind of like uh, boiling chicken or uh, uh, like uh, pieces of meat, you know, go under, you don't want all that sauce, it just drains it out for you and you cut a piece off, taste it. So, uh, knives, that's the trickiest part right there. When it comes to knives, you're going to have to, what the hell, fuck, I'll fuck you up. Anyways, Knives, you're going to want to spend the money on them because that's, that's your bread and butter. Me, I got two sets of cheap knives because some work, some don't, but I'm on a budget, can't afford them all. But if you can afford a good set of knives, pick them up. If they're on sale and you know they're a good brand, pick them up because trust me, you're going to need them. And of course, what you need the most, Tupperware. Can I tell you one thing, leftovers are the fucking best. That's all I can say. I can make a leftover and get your nipples rock hard. I'm look at my nipple. Don't look. I'm doing it right now. But anyways, uh, leftovers you can make into any other meal. I'm telling you, it's not just one. You can make it into another. You can make it into another. I'm a leftover king. So pretty much, those are the basic stuff that you you can use in your kitchen. If you don't got any, it's not a big deal. Don't you know? Oh my God, I need to run out and get it. That's fine. You accumulate them. Like I said, some of these are all hand-me-downs, uh, which I do appreciate. Thank you all out there. Um, but yeah. Roasting pan and pot, I recommend those ones too because you need a pot, got to boil. Roasting pan, I don't know, I'm just a bitch right now. I'm loving the roasting pan. Well, like I said, that's, that's the run of my kitchen. Uh, your kitchen may be different, and if it is, fuck yeah. Like I said, cooking is about you. It's about making your family happy. That's what I do. Uh, that's why I won't work in a restaurant. I, I don't want to do someone else's menu. I like my menu. I like what I cook. I don't want to keep reading down the line the same thing over and over and over again. Nah, make it your own. You got spices, you got your liquids, you got your pans. Put those together and you will come out with greatness. 
Again, I want to thank everybody out there that watches. I see my views. I see my comments. I appreciate it so much. Uh, we love doing the show. We try to do it weekly. Time, budget cuts, this and that. Shit fucking happens. It is what it is. But we will continue doing these shows for you. Um, like I said, I enjoy any type of criticism, whether it's good, bad, ugly. I am all three. Uh, I'll take it. Uh, if you have a, if you have a meal that you want me to uh, give a shot to, I'll give it a shot. I uh, you know what. I ain't scared of no ghosts. I'll fucking handle the business. Uh, go ahead, give me a uh, shout out. Uh, email at uh, hoodcook602 at gmail.com. Uh, I'll get back to you right away. Um, again, thank you for for watching, and I will see you again.